In this video, we're going to complete the Lewis dot structure for CH2O. Step number one, calculate the total number of valence electrons. Carbon is in group four. It has four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one valence electron, and there's two hydrogens. Oxygen has six valence electrons. That's a total of 12 electrons. Step number two, identify central atom. Carbon is always a central atom, so let's use carbon in the middle. And then let's arrange the other atoms as terminal atoms. We'll put one hydrogen on each side, and maybe the oxygen on top. Step number three, use a pair of electrons to form a bond between each atom. So we have 12 electrons. Let's form a, a bond between each. There's two, four, six. Now we have six electrons left to distribute. Number four says to distribute lone pairs first to the terminal atoms and then to the central atom. Hydrogen, remember, only wants two, so hydrogen has already fulfilled its duet rule. So we have six electrons to distribute. Let's distribute them first to the terminal atoms. Two, four, six. Step number five. If central atom's octet is incomplete, move lone pairs to create multiple bonds. Well, let's check the central atom. It has two, four, six electrons. So carbon's octet is incomplete. If that's the case, we take a lone pair and we move it down to form a double bond. So now, it looks like this. Step number six, check to make sure each one has eight. Carbon has two, four, six, eight. Oxygen has two, four, six, and eight. And of course, the two hydrogens only want two. So this Lewis dot structure is complete.